Oh, you guys are here. Hey, Conquerors. This is Shob, and you're watching Concovered. So, till now, we have done introduction, part one, and part two for C programming language, and today we are going to complete part three for C programming language. So, today I'm going to talk to you guys about basics of C programming language. Plus, we are going to use printf with new line with making new lines, and we are also going to make a new shape. So, guys, let's start the video. So, what does the this include? STDIO stands for. So, it's just a file which stores our whole program. We do not explore it much because it's not needed at this moment. But we will do it whenever there will be a need of it, right, guys? So, let's move ahead. What this main stands for? So main is a function or say a command or say a cylinder in which our small or a part of our code will be saved so that whenever we execute or whenever we run this program so we get output but what do we run? We run this main program so whenever this main folder is executed we get our output so in this manner main is very much necessary what this int that is before main stands for so int so in every program, we need to return something. We need to return a variable or say an integer. So in this manner, we are taking an integer in returning something. So what does this return means? So in this in this program, we are just returning return zero, right guys? Return zero. So this what does this zero means? So we are returning zero as zero errors. So zero stands for zero errors. So in this program, if we make any type of error, then it will show us that you have made error because we are returning zero errors, right guys? If you put one, return one, then till your one error, it will not show that there is error. And even it will not run, so we will think that there is some problem in core blocks, but there is no problem, there is return one. You have wrote that return one, that's why one error is not shown exactly guys. So if we want to put return five, then till 5 errors, it will code blocks will not show that there is an error and eventually it will not run too. So we will think that there is problem with code blocks, but there is no problem in code blocks, it will be our mistake. Yes guys, so let's move ahead. So how we can make a new line? So you can see this slash n. You guys must be thinking that Shub has not told about printf, but guys in last video we explored it so much that we do not need to explore it now right guys if you do not have watched part one or part two then please go and watch it and then come back cool guys so what does this slash n stands for this slash n states that a new line will be made after this hello world so let me put it again and see does it makes a new line or not so now after some time you will have a long code so if you want to make if you need to compile and print it in a fast manner then what you will do so here you can see a build and run button compile and run button so that button works as first it builds as it compiles and then it runs the program so it is more convenient to us guys so we, don't, we will not take individual commands but we will take build and run okay guys so let me go and build and run it so yes hello world and hello world so it changes the line yes so that's our program but if i take out this slash n from this command and now if i build and run oh hello world hello world what is this hello world and beside it again hello world so it's just a stuff bad mess yes guys so we do not want to work like this yes guys so we will put slash n because slash n was better as in it was taking different lines yes so let's build and run yes it's hello world if i do not put there is a space between yes guys can you see there is a mouse pointer there is a space between this why the space is there because i have put slash n in second line too if i do not put this and then build and run then there will be no space so it puts it makes a line difference exactly guys so let's go and check out how to make a small shape out of this so let me just take out hello world from both the lines let me copy it
Yes. So now you can see a small right angle triangle, right guys? We have done our input. So now let's check for output. Yes. Yep. We have got a right angle triangle. Yes guys. So you can also use your own algorithms and make different type of shapes too. But we can't make circles or that type of shapes now. But we will be learning it in later part of our study. Right guys. So let's go and check how to make So now let's go and check that how does how we can print multiple lines using one printf. So that's a very good thing that's better. Eventually uh, we are using printf then printf then printf. So then we don't want to use it and we will just take a single printf and we will print multiple lines. So how to do that? So first let me take out all this mess and let's go. So first. Hello? Hello world? No. Slash n. So, do I need to put inverted comma again? No. We will put after slash n, we have lived a line. Right guys? We have left a line. So now, let's go and take again a hello world. Yes. Now, complete the sentence with what we had learnt semicolon close parenthesis and inverted commas so in this way we are going to complete it okay build and run and yes this hello world and below it again hello world so in this way you guys can easily make a multiple sentence string with one printf statement right guys so in this way we have learned three topics today. First one is basics of C programming language, then how to make a new line and even how to make how to print multiple lines using one printf. So in next lecture, we are going to do variables. We are going to learn what do we mean by variables and even something else that would be surprise. And from next lecture, guys, I will be giving you some tasks. So you just need to complete those tasks and I will give the solution of this that task in next to next lecture. So please do and please complete those tasks from next video and you will become the best programmer ever. So thank you very much guys. Signing